Hi, this is a quick video to show one way to scan a book to view as a PDF in iBooks. This option might be something that you want to do for a young student who visually wants to zoom in on the pictures. So I have a couple things here. I have a cheap um, slant board reading stand that's from an office supply store that goes in a three ring binder, folds flat, and there's a, I think, a privacy study screen that's black that's behind my book that will create a contrast to the pages so the app can find the borders easily. And my iPad is in a little stand. It's an iPhone stand, but it's working for this purpose right now. And I have the copy holder and the iPad at about the same angle so it will scan readily. And the app I'm going to use is called Scanner Pro, made by a company called Riattle. So let me go ahead and open that. I have a page with my documents here, and there's an orange plus at the bottom that I'll tap to make a new document, and pretty much lined up. At the bottom, I have a couple options. There's the type of document I'm going to <coughs> create. And I found for a color book, color photo is the best choice. And then there's a manual and auto option. Um, I'll go ahead and hit auto and it will start scanning. So switch to auto and I might need to move it here to And it didn't take it itself right there, so I'm going to go ahead and hit the shutter. And it took that picture. And I'm going to turn the page and see if it, it found that automatically. And I'm turning to the first page. It's trying to find it right now. I'm going to grab that one. Just get one more page in here. I'm trying to hold this with one hand. And it's not finding it because I'm probably too close. Let me go ahead and hit the shutter. Okay. Um, all right, so let me just stop there. And that page did not find the borders automatically, but what I can simply do is take these edges here. It gives me these little dots that I can pull in, just like I'm editing a cropping a photo or something. And when I find the corners, I can hit save selection. Okay, so right now at the bottom right corner, it says I have four pages. Let's say that's our whole book. Now I have some options. I can save, edit, there's other actions. That includes setting a password on a PDF, show as text, or edit PDF. So, but I'm gonna go back here to edit and check my pages. That's to edit that page. Looks good. Looks good. I'm turning through my book here, which is Fox and Socks. So Fox, Socks, Box, Knocks on that page. Okay, so let's say we've scanned it all. Looks, looks good. And now <clears throat> what I want to do is save it. So in the top left, I have the Save button. And saved right there. I could, of course, name it. on this fox real quick. Done. And now I want to do something with it. So I'm going to take the action button here, the square. It's on the top right, um, square with an arrow coming out of it. Tap that and I have <coughs> the, all the usual options. I can select open in because now I can get the option to open in I can look for iBooks right there. Copy to iBooks. It's going to go to my iBooks, and now it's opened the book in iBooks. And now we have the option in iBooks to use the pinch gestures to zoom in. Of course, this option will not read the book aloud. There'd be different processes to um, get a book with OCR text that we could listen to. But 
the student could zoom in and look at words. This would not be ideal for extended reading or for a student learning to read if they were trying to scan like this at the same time. But it could be a great way to preview a book that a teacher was going to read and discuss some of the, the elements and pictures. Okay. Take care.